Welcome, and in this tutorial, you are going to learn how to evaluate this kind of math Olympiad question. This is your usual radical expression, and as you know, we are to do this without calculator. It's just very simple and amazing. And don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comment section. It helps us to serve you best. Now, let's do this together. So, we are going to begin this with solution. Remember, we are going to consider two steps. The first one is you are going to simplify the inside, okay? Then when we are done simplifying the inside, we simplify the outside alongside, okay? Now let's do it together. So we're going to begin this with solution. Now for the inside, remember what you have is root 15. So we have 15, let's divide. 3 can divide this 5, 5 can divide this 1. You observe that there is nothing repeated, it's not to be paired. So in this case, this is what we call a prime sword, okay? But notwithstanding, because of this, we can choose to split it, just watch. So we can rewrite this to be root 5 multiplied by 3, okay? Just like we have it here. Now, plus root 5, okay? This is the lowest form, nothing can go into it again. Is divided by for this we have 20 what can divide 2 here is 10 2 here is 5 5 is 1 you see that these two is repeated so you pair it then when you pair you take one out of it so you are going to that the one you took out you write it out now this one is going to remain in the root because it's not paired so we are going to return the square root and write 5 inside amazing now what do you do Remember this rule of radical, which says that for every, every term we have square root of a multiplied by b, it is the same as root a multiplied by root b. So you are going to apply this here. To do it, you are going to have root 5 multiplied by root 3, okay, plus root 5 is divided by 2 root 5. Now what do you do next? Observe that these two are together, okay, from here. Now, also observe that this root 5 is repeated at the both sides. And because of that, you factor. So, we are going to factor root 5 out. Open a bracket. When you use this to divide these two terms, you notice you'll be left with root 3. Plus, when root 5 divides itself, it gives you 1. So, this is what you have. And the whole of this is divided by 2 root 5. Interesting. Now, what do you do again? Observe that this is at the numerator and it's at the denominator also. So, you can easily cancel it out. So, we cancel out and you'll be left with root 3 plus 1 all divided by 2. But don't forget that all these are raised to the power of 9. So, let's return it. They are all raised to the power of 9. Let's not forget it. So we have this raised to the power of 9. And we also raise this to the power of 9. Now, to simplify this demo, see what you are going to do. Now, you observe that for this inside, we have reduced it. Now, let's start with the outside. And you know that for 9, 9 is the same as 3 multiplied by 3. Okay? So this is going to help us. Now, for this, we are going to now have root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 will be raised to the power of 3, okay? And then raised to the power of 3. Now, this is possible because we know that for every a raised to the power of m, raised to the power of n, according to your exponents, the powers will always multiply. So it gives you a raised to the power m, n. Did you see that? So you observe that when you multiply this to 3 multiplied by 3, it gives you back 9. So you have not changed anything. Now, what do you do? Also remember in your rule of exponents that each time you have for every a raised to the power m divided by b raised to the power m, it is the same as a over b raised to the power of m. Interesting. So this is also going to help us in simplifying this. You observe that this and this is in this form. So we can choose to make it to be in this form. So we're going to now have root 3 plus 1 will be raised to the power of this 3, okay? And then divided by 2, 
also raised to power of this three. I hope you're with me. This is the same as this, obeying this rule. And all these are raised to the power of uh, this three. Now, what do you do? We are going to expand this. Now, you look at this. This is your binomial of degree three. And you have to quickly remember that for every a plus b raised to the power of 3, according to your binomial expansion, it is raise this a to the power of this 3, okay? Then plus, introduce 3 as a coefficient, then return this a again, but this time decrease your powers of a. So it's going to be raised to the power of 2, introduce your b, okay? Add another addition sign, introduce 3, decrease your a again to a. Now, this will, your b will increase to b squared. I hope you are with me. Then, plus the last is b will be raised to the power of 3. So, for each time you see this, this is how you expand it. Now, we are going to apply this in this numerator. So, we are going to now have, this is our a and this is our b. So, we are going to have root 3 will be raised to the power of 3, okay? Then plus 3, we multiply our a is root 3. I hope you are still with me. And a is raised to the power of 2, so it will be root 3 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by our b is 1, okay? Then plus 3, we multiply our a is root 3. I hope you are with me. Is multiplied by our b is 1, so you have 1 squared. Then plus, what do we have again? B is 1, so we have 1 cubed. And all these are divided by 2 raised to the power 3 is 2 multiplied 3 times to give us 8. So this is what we have. From here, we are going to now have, remember, for each time you have root 3 raised to the power 3, it means it is multiplied 3 times, okay? And when you have it this way, these two will give you 3. So it will give you 3 root 3. Did you see? So for simplifying this, we are going to now have 3 root 3, okay? Then plus this square, we cancel this square. So you have 3 multiplied by 3, then it's multiplied by 1. I hope you are seeing what we are doing. Okay, so we are having again plus 3 multiplied this multiplied. We give us 3 multiplied by root 3, and 1 squared is 1, okay? Then plus 1 cubed is 1 divided by 8, all are raised to the power of 3. I hope you are still with me there. Now we keep simplifying. So we are going to have 3 root 3 plus multiply this, it gives you 9, okay? Then this will give us 3 root 3, then plus 1. I hope you are with me. It's divided by 8 and it's raised to the power of 3. Now you simplify again to now have, you observe that this and this are the same. Did you see that? So we're going to have 3 root 3 plus 3 root 3. We give us, you add their coefficients since the radicals are the same. So 3 plus 3 will give us 6, so we have 6 root 3. 9 plus 1 will give us 10, so we have this divided by 8 and it's raised to the power of 3. And this is going to give us, we can choose to use 2 to divide because 2 can divide this constants, okay, and the coefficient. So 2 can divide 8 4 times, 2 goes here 3 times, and 2 here is 5. So we're going to have 3 root 3 plus 5 divided by 4 is raised to the power of this 3. We are still simplifying. Now to do that more, we're going to now have... Remember, for this, it is the same as 3 root 3 plus 5 will be raised to the power of 3 divided by 4 will be raised to the power of 3. So what do you do? You are still going to use your binomial of degree 3. And remember, it's going to give us, just take this as A and this is B. So you are going to cube the first one, so it will be this raised to the power of 3, okay, plus introduce a coefficient of 3. Now, this one is, you are going to reduce the power. So it will be 3 root 3 will now be squared. Introduce your value of B, which is 5. Did you see what you are doing? Plus, then you introduce another coefficient 3. Then decrease this power again. So you have 3 root 3 
will not be raised to power of one. Okay? Then your B will not increase to five raised to power of two. Plus, you now introduce your B and raise it to the power of three. I hope that is clear. Okay, and all are divided by 4 raised to the power of 3 is 4 multiplied 3 times, and that will give us uh, 64. We keep simplifying to now have, so this gives us, for this, what do you do? We are going to have, this will be multiplied 3 times, so we have 3 root 3, multiply 3 root 3, multiply 3 root 3. Okay, multiply these coefficients, it will give you 27, so you have 27 is multiplied by, when you multiply these two, it gives you 3. And this 3 multiplies this, we give you 3 root 3. Did you see? So we're going to have 3 root 3. Interesting. So we keep simplifying it to now have, for this, what do you do? This will give us 3 is multiplying, this will be multiplied 2 times, okay? So we have, this we multiply to give us 9, multiplied by this will multiply to give you three okay then is multiplied by five then you have plus okay so we multiply this and that is going to give us three multiplied by this is raised to power one so it's the same number so we have three root three five raised to power two will give us five multiplied two times as 25 then plus five raised to power three gives us 125 and everything is divided by 64. Interesting. So what do you do again? You keep simplifying. Now multiply this. You are going to have 27 multiplied by 3 gives us 81. So we have 81 root 3. Now multiply this. This will give us 9. Multiply by this 81 times this. We give us 405. Okay. Then plus. Then we multiply this. 3 multiplied by 3 gives us 9. And 9 by 25. So let's quickly multiply 9 by 25. So this will give us 45. Write 5, take 4. This will give us 18 plus 4. We give us 22. So we're going to have 225 root 3. I hope you have not forgotten that. So you simplify again to now have. So this is plus 125. And all are divided by 64. Interesting. So we simplify finally to now have. We are going to collect like terms. This and this are like. Okay. So we are going to have 81 root 3 plus 225 root 3 plus this and this are like. So we have 405 plus 125. All are divided by 64. So we add it up, add their coefficient because the radicals are the same. So it's going to give us 225 plus 81. And this is 6, this is 10, take 1, this is 3. So we are having 306 root 3, okay? So this is what we have. Now add these two. We have 405 plus 125. And that will give us 10, take 1, we have 3, here is 5. So we have 530. Interesting. And all these are divided by 64. So, but observe carefully, these are even numbers all true. So we can easily use two to reduce them. So we are going to have two goals here in 30, 15 times, two goals here, three. So we have 153 root three plus two can go in five, two times. Taking one, two here will give us six, taking one, five. So we have 265 divided by two can go in this three. This is two. So we're going to have 32. Okay. You observe that we cannot use two anymore. So this is the lowest form of this. And this becomes the answer for you to evaluate this. And I hope you really learned a lot. Let's know how much in the comment. And don't forget to share for more people to learn the skills we displayed. Don't forget to give this tutorial a thumbs up and let us know how it helps you in the comment. It always helps us to serve you best. I will see you in our next class. Till then, bye-bye.